a new option for women dealing with incontinence linked to pregnancy, childbirth, and menopause. I'm Jocelyn Mementa. It is FDA cleared and developed by a Connecticut-based company. One in three women copes with incontinence. Incontinence is when you leak um, urine and you just don't have control over that leakage. Most women do not want to talk about it. Deborah Sullivan wants to get the conversation started. And I first realized it in the gym. The mom of three sought help from a urologist. And she asked me, well, do you yet have leakage when you stand up? And I said, no. She said, well, what about when you cough or sneeze? She said, no. She said, only when you jump rope. I said, yes. She said, well, I'm not doing surgery for that. So I, I felt there was no solution for this. Deborah eventually and found a solution for her stress um, incontinence. Elitone, a non-invasive medical device developed by Monroe-based Elida. CEO Gloria Culp. I had uh, a nine and a half pound baby and then 13 pounds of twins. I started to look for solutions for myself and I did not like what I saw in the market. This non-vaginal therapy. There's 35 levels is worn under clothing for 20 minutes, about four times a week. It's basically electrical stimulation, but it has two um, conductive areas. The top one talks to the bottom one, and it sends signals through the pelvic floor muscles to tell the pelvic floor muscles to contract, basically doing those Kegel exercises that can be so hard to do. It just feels like a, uh, a tightening of the muscles, not painful whatsoever. It, uh, uses the correct muscles um, because one-fourth of women do Kegel exercises incorrectly. But not only that, uh, it does it longer and stronger than you really could on your own. This is for women with mild to moderate stress incontinence. Women who just occasionally leak um, to potentially up to, f they leak five to seven times a day. No longer an issue for Deborah. I'm not worried when I'm at the gym doing something that everyone's going to see that I'm wearing gray shorts and now they're dark gray. 